Hello Pattus, welcome back to the stories for Pattus channel and I'm Paru. I just want to tell you a little bit about the story that we're going to read today. This story was first written in England in the year 1839. We are in the year 2021. A long, 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 long time back. 180 years back. Oh my goodness. And after that was written, the characters that appear in the story has been used in so many other versions and it's very, very nice and I hope you enjoy it because when I was little, my mum bought a few books for me and this was one of them. I have lost count of how many times I've read it till now. I love this story and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do and it is Eat Your Greens Goldilocks. Do you know Goldilocks and the Three Bears? So this is one of the versions, okay? But we'll just go through the parts of the book before we start. Front cover of the book. Back cover of the book. Spine of the book that holds the book together. Every book has a name called the title of the book. Eat your greens, Goldilocks. And every book is written by someone called the author of the book. And the person who draws pictures for the book is the illustrator of the book. So the author of this book is Steve Smallman and the illustrator is Bruno Robert. And oh, oh, I don't have a good feeling. There's somebody sitting over here looking very grumpy. So we'll just go inside and see. She's grumpy. Look at her. Mm. That's not good. I wonder what's making her grumpy. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Goldilocks. She had big blue eyes, curly golden hair and a very bad temper. Eat your cereal, said her mum. Yuck, shouted Goldilocks. She would never eat anything healthy. Just try it, begged her dad. No, screamed Goldilocks. I want jelly and ice cream and I want them now. Ooh. But she didn't get them, so she got up and ran away. Oh my goodness, this is not good. So look at Goldilocks, look at how pretty she looks. But she's got a bad temper. Temper means she gets angry very easily. Over what? Over breakfast. So when mommy and daddy give her healthy food and ask her to eat it, what does she do? She says she wants jelly and ice Jelly and ice cream in the morning? Mm, not good. Do you do that, Patu? No, you don't do that. You eat what mommy and daddy give you. Well done. This doesn't look good. And look, she just, she just spilled all the food. That's not good. Can you all please join me and say, no Goldilocks, that's not right. Did you tell her that? I hope she listens to you. Goldilocks ran through the forest. Before long, she was lost and tired and her tummy was rumbling. She wished she'd eaten breakfast. Then she smelled something yummy. She followed her nose to a little cottage. No one was home, so she went inside. Oh, oh. Again. Not good. So first she didn't have a breakfast. She threw all the cereal. She ran out of the house. And now she's going into a stranger's house without knowing who's in there. She's putting herself in danger. But to please tell Goldilocks, no Goldilocks, this is not right. Did you tell her? Mm. I don't think she's doing the right thing. Well, let's go and have a look to see if she does do something good. Mm. Phew. I need to sit down, said Goldilocks. 
first she sat on the big chair. Ouch! Too hard, she said. Then she sat on the middle-sized chair. Oh, too soft, she said. Then she sat on the little chair. Ah, just right, she said. And then, eek! As the little chair fell to pieces, she landed bump on the floor. Sitting up, she smelled the yummy smell again. It was coming from the next room. But to have a look now, I'm going to give her another thumbs down. Do you just go into people's house and break their things and try their things? It belongs to them. Would you like it if somebody came to your house and did this to your furniture? Not good. We need to respect everybody's home and everybody's things. So can you please tell her? What do you need to tell her? No Goldilocks. This is not nice. Did you tell her? Okay, I'll turn the page. Hopefully she does the right thing in the next page. On the table were three bowls of porridge. Not poopy, gloopy porridge, moaned Goldilocks. But her tummy grumbled so loudly that she decided to try it. First she tried the big bowl. <gasps> Too hot, she said, and threw it on the floor. Then she tried the middle-sized bowl. Bleh! Too cold, she said, and threw it on the wall. Then she tried the little bowl. <sniffs> Yummy! Just try it, she said, and she gobbled it all up. This is not good. Look at my grumpy face. I'm getting a bit grumpy because she's doing all the wrong things. What did she do now? Look at her. First of all, she called the food uh, poopy gloopy and then she threw the food on the floor, on the wall in somebody's house and then she finished somebody's food. But to mm. Oh, you already told her. You know what the right thing is, right? You told her. Can I can I tell her as well? No, Goldilocks. That is not right. I'm going to give you a thumbs down. You'll never, never know if you don't give it a go. See, she tried it and then she liked it. But in the beginning, she said, Egh. Do you do that with food that your mom gives you? Nah. You eat everything. You give it a try because mommy makes it with love for you and she knows that it's healthy food. So good on you. Okay. We'll see what this Goldilocks is going to do next. Uh. By now, Goldilocks felt sleepy. So she crept upstairs and found the bedrooms. First, she tried the big bed. Ow! Too hard! Ugh! She said. Then she tried the middle-sized bed. Ooh! soft she said then she tried the little bed <sighs> just right she sighed and she fell fast asleep do you go into someone's house and sleep like this and use their bed no goldilocks not very nice When Goldilocks slept, three bears came in. Big daddy bear, middle-sized mummy bear and a little baby bear. They found baby bear's broken chair, porridge all over the kitchen and baby bear's porridge all gone. Then they saw muddy footprints leading up the stairs. Oh, the bears are back. And look, Daddy is not at all happy with what um, Goldilocks has done. Look at the mess. Look at this. Do you do it to somebody's house? You, you, you shouldn't do it to even your house. And look at that. Mm. And then they found the footprints and they're going to go up. I think Goldilocks is in big trouble now, Patu. 
Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Daddy Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Mummy Bear. Somebody's still sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear. Look! Who are you? And what have you done to our house? Roared Daddy Bear. Goldilocks woke up. I, I, uh, I'm Goldilocks and uh, I'm sorry, she cried. You better come to the kitchen, growled Daddy Bear. They're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. Look, the bears came and they saw Goldilocks and they're not happy. And Daddy said, you better come to the kitchen. What a mess have you made? And Goldilocks thinks that they're going to eat them. Her, eat her. Do you think so? Are they going to eat her? First, Daddy Bear made Goldilocks mend the chair. Time for a snack, said Mummy Bear. <gasps> they're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. But Mummy Bear handed Goldilocks a banana. And a glass of milk. Goldilocks ate the banana and drank the milk. <sniffs> Yummy! Then Mummy Bear made Goldilocks clean up the porridge. Time for lunch, said Daddy Bear. <gasps> They're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. But Daddy Bear handled, handed her a bowl of soup and a slice of bread. Goldilocks ate the soup and the bread. <sniffs> Yummy, she said. But to have a look. You know, all the pages we were giving her a thumbs down. I think we'll give her a thumbs up here because uh, Goldilocks said sorry. She made a mistake and she said sorry. So thumbs up to her for saying sorry. And in this page, look, she helped to clean up all the mess that she made. And she's having the healthy food now that the bears gave her. So I think we should give her a thumbs up again, okay? And can we say good job, Goldilocks? Good job, Goldilocks. Let's have a look. When Goldilocks had washed the stairs and made the beds, Daddy Bear said, time for dinner. Please don't eat me, cried Goldilocks. We don't want to eat you, said Daddy Bear. We only eat nice, healthy food. Mummy Bear put a chicken casserole and a bowl of steaming vegetables on the table. Goldilocks was so hungry after all the work that she helped herself to a huge portion and ate it all up. <coughs> Scrummy, she said. Look at her. So she first told them not to eat, as if they're going to eat her. And then whatever Mummy gave, Look, she ate everything and it's all healthy food. And she said it's scrummy, which is another word to say it was delicious. So scrummy, yummy, delicious are some of the words that we can use to describe the food. Nice. I'm so happy. Okay, give her a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Goldilocks. Well done. Okay, let's have a look now. After dinner, the bears walked Goldilocks home. On the way, they picked some Berries, blackberries. These would be lovely with jelly and ice cream, Baby Bear said. <gasps> you eat jelly and ice cream? gasped Goldilocks in surprise. Of course, but only as a treat, said Baby Bear. Never for breakfast. Look at her. Oh, that's nice. So the bears are taking her back to her house and on the way they pick some blackberries. And the little bear said, the baby bear said, we do eat ice cream and jelly, but only sometimes because it's a sometimes food. You can have it sometimes. I love cake and ice cream too, but only sometimes as a treat. Oh, and that is the end of the story. Part two, did you like this story? I love this story and it's a very good story that teaches us a very important message about eating healthy, eating what mummy and daddy give us because they always look after us and know what's best for us 
and one more thing i want to tell you already in the book we did thumbs down to her for running out of the house for throwing food everywhere for going into a stranger's house and breaking their stuff all that we gave her a thumbs down but there's one more important thing where does food come from mother earth she just gives us the food all the vegetables everything takes time to grow we have to remember the farmers who do so much for us we have to remember the people who cook that food for us the person who brings the vegetable in the lorries and in the big trucks to our supermarket so we can buy them so think about every one of them who put their effort to bring this food to our plates are we allowed to throw it and waste it no patu we all all have to respect the food and always say thank you to those people who cook with love and give it to us so that's what i wanted to share with you through this story patu be good do good hope you loved the story and we'll catch up next week with another good story so we'll quickly do the um goodbye song okay a b c you later d e f G I'm gonna miss you H I have to go now J K bye bye now L M N O I had a good time P Q are you gonna miss me S T you are my best friend B W X Y because I love you Z that's all bye patus